Hi, my name is Project Daddy. I'm an ex-vet political theorist who lives in the projects, yes, and today I need your help. I need the help of the greatest American alive. You, the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Project Daddy only has one goal, and his goal is to win the Nobel Peace Prize, yes, but in order to win the Nobel Peace Prize, I need your help. What's the goal? The goal is to end poverty in America. And after we end poverty in America, we're going all around the globe, all around the globe. Yes, we are. We're going to go and we're going to smash poverty. And we have to have creative ideas on how we can have a collaborative effort with not only our government, but also with big business. Now, that takes a lot of effort, a lot of nuance, and it takes a lot of money. If you're watching this video, there is a cash app. There is a Project Daddy cash app right there in the left-hand side. Man, you better send Project Daddy as much money as you possibly can because the fight for freedom is expensive. The fight for freedom is expensive. And now I know that each individual person, man, you go to work every day. That's why you are the greatest American alive. You are on your grind. And so every dollar matters. Yes, when you put money in the political system, that money don't go to you. It goes to the pocket of some politician who's already been bought off by a big corporation. And so now when we see that our system is so torn up right now, when we see so much chaos in our political system, we have to take a stand. If you want to invest in politicians, you can invest in politicians, but they're going to take your money and buy a second, third and fourth home. And they're going to make sure they have enough money so their kids never, ever have to work again. All of your political representatives are turning a profit off of you. They're exploiting you and taking all your money. What are you, the greatest American alive, getting in return? You ain't getting nothing in return. You just get to cheer for your favorite team. Yay, go Democrats. Yay, go Republicans. I don't vote. I don't believe in this system. But we have to be engaged and active citizens, yes? And so when I say the Project Day needs your help, man, we're in dire times right now. Right now in America, there are over 10 million American men in between the ages of 25 and 54 who are not going to work. That is an army. In other countries, that turns into the Taliban or some type of other armed resistance when you have young men with time and no money. They get excited. And so we have to prepare for this thing that's coming to America right now. It's coming to America. And I ain't talking about uh, Eddie Murphy. It's coming to America. And I ain't talking about Arsenio Hall. Dark times are before us if we do not be proactive and do the work that needs to be done. The greatest American alive. Right now we have a whole new climate. The internet has provided a new platform in ways that we can discuss how we get actual freedom and defeat poverty. We can have these discussions. Project Day was sitting back in the backyard and I was talking to a giant, a real life giant. If you ever saw an NBA player, if you ever saw a person that's over six foot three tall, they up here in the sky with their head in the clouds, yes. You see people like these, and these people are real-life giants. I was having a conversation with a real-life giant, yes? And this giant was talking to me about the problems in America, and he said, Project Daddy, what's one of the greatest problems in America? And as we discussed ideas about the biggest problem in America, the giant looked Project Daddy square in his eyes. The giant had to lean down a little bit, you know, because the giant is six foot five, and Project Daddy ain't number about five, seven, yes? And so the giant asked Project Daddy, does your phone have GPS? Now, I thought the giant was trying to be condescending. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, giant. You know, every phone right now that's made, it comes with GPS. And so I was trying to get the point. And now after the giant asked Project Daddy if he had GPS, all of a sudden it came to my mind. I said, you know what? How in the world can we have free conversations and free political discourse in America if we don't own the means of communication? The giant asked Project Daddy, how do we get free? In the mail that same day, Project Daddy received a card from Ryan Reynolds, you know. If you ain't ever struggled economically, then you might have one of those expensive phone plans like Verizon or something. You might pay $100 a month for your phone. Well, Project Daddy ain't got $100 to pay for no $100 phone bill. So, Project Daddy has Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile sent Project Daddy this gift card, yes. And on this gift card is Ryan Reynolds. I said, why in the world would Ryan Reynolds send Project Daddy this gift card? And then my little sister said... Ryan Reynolds owns Mint Mobile. I said, what in the world? What in the world? The Green Lantern owns Mint Mobile? <laughs> that, that made me think about all types of things. When the American person does not own or participate in the ownership of the means of communication, then the American person can never be free. We can never have honest political discourse in America if we cannot have honest conversations with each other. If we can't have honest conversations, if American citizens cannot talk openly and honestly, then guess what's going to happen? There is going to be civil unrest in this wonderful, wonderful nation. And I think that we should have better conversations. Better conversations will save our nation. So we have to engage in how we destroy poverty not only destroy poverty, but empower the American citizens. So how do we do this? 
And so when that giant looked down at Project Daddy and asked me about GPS and Project Daddy started to process about the means of communication, I got excited, y'all. I tell you, Project Daddy gets so excited because once I started thinking about owning the means of communication, I started thinking about the discourse that's been happening. They've been having conversations about, oh, we should break up Facebook and uh, the people should own Facebook. All the social media platforms, they should be public utilities where the public owns them. The conversation of turning all the social media platforms into public utilities got Project Daddy to thinking. If you want to control these powerful institutions, then how come we're not talking about the satellites that are up there in the sky? They're listening to all of our phone conversations, and these satellites aren't owned by you, the greatest American alive. No, they're not. They have access to all your information, and every person who has access to the satellite has access to your information. And so as I was talking to this giant, I said, hey, giant, how many satellites do poor people own? And the giant looked at me confused. He said, I don't think any poor people own satellites. And so initially I said, man, the greatest American life, you, the greatest American life, we need to work together so we can put some satellites up there in the sky. In the last 20 years, the continent of Africa has put 20 satellites into the sky. And so when we want to have free conversations, when we want to have free political discourse, American citizens, you, the greatest American life, you need your own satellite. We need investment groups so that we can build satellites, so that we can have conversations freely. I want to get to know you, the greatest American life. I want you to tell me your story. I want to tell me all the things that make you smile. Give me stories of gratitude and how the great creator blessed your life. And if you want to tell me the struggles that came from a capitalist nation and how America has made things very difficult for impoverished people, economically challenged people, then it's time for us to have that conversation. We need to engage in the dialogue that's going to improve the quality of life for every American citizen. The greatest American alive. And after we get our equation down to how we can improve our lives, then we're gonna take this model and we're gonna take it globally, y'all. I need you to understand, this is one of the most dangerous conversations that we're gonna have. This is one of the most dangerous conversations that you, the greatest American alive, is ever going to have. Because when you start talking about power, then powerful people get scared. When the American people start to come aware of how powerful they are, then all of your political representatives, oh man, they get nervous. Every person who owns a satellite, they're saying, oh, shoots, the American people want to invest in satellites too. Oh man, there goes our monopoly. Just like when a poor family moves into a nice neighborhood, they say, there goes the neighborhood. Well, guess what? American citizens, we're about to crash the party because we would like to own the means of communication. Don't ask Project Daddy. Oh man, what's the specific plan? That's your job. The job of the greatest American life is to get free and to provide freedom for every other great American citizen. It is your duty to fight on behalf of your neighbor. Oh my goodness, times are about to get so exciting. It's going to be the greatest renaissance the world has ever seen when the people can actually own the means of their communication. Now that we can talk freely, we can have every discussion that we would like on how we can have economic power in America. Hey, I don't need no representative to talk for me. Eyes free, I can speak for myself. Project Daddy claims his power today. And you, you the greatest American alive as a sovereign citizen, you, you better tell a better story. You better tell these people that you own your physical self, your digital self, and your spiritual self into perpetuity. That means forever. Can't no organization, can't no company, can't no government never own you. And from this day forward, we're negotiating everything. Um, in 2005, the New York Times won a Pulitzer Prize for revealing that the NSA was eavesdropping on the telephone conversations of Americans without first going to the FISA court and obtaining a warrant for it. Um, in 2006, USA Today revealed um, that there was a phone metadata program where millions of Americans were having data stored about them. Um, and in 2010, the Washington Post ran this three-part series called Top Secret America by Dana Priest um, and Bill Arkin um, that said, among other things, that the NSA was collecting 1.8 billion communication events um, about people every single day. So the existence of a, a surveillance state had been known. We want to negotiate all of our power, every single way that you make money off of me, man, I need part of that, you hear me? I need a percentage of everything that I contribute to with my human energy, with my humanity, everything that I invest in with my sweat labor, I need a percentage of that. And we're gonna have that discussion. Yes, the greatest American alive is coming for all they money. The greatest American alive. All the cryptocurrencies that are happening around the world right now, they sound so exciting at creating wealth. Yes, they do. But if you don't own the means of communication, then you can't have no honest conversation on how you participate in getting some of this wealth. 
And so right now, if you want to invest in fighting for freedom, you better invest in the person who's actually fighting for you, the greatest American life. You better hit that project that he cash Shep. You better send all the money that you possibly can to defend your freedom. Yes, it's important right now. And if you want to spread freedom, I want you to go back into the Project Daddy catalog and take any video and every video. Take the worst video and you spread that on all your social medias. When you help Project Daddy win the Nobel Peace Prize, guess what happens? Project Daddy is going to dedicate the Nobel Prize to you, the greatest American alive, because I can't do it without you, man. Life is a collaborative effort. And in this collaborative effort, every American citizen has to stand together in solidarity so we can get this freedom. Project Daddy doesn't practice resistance. And when I see amazing things coming for you, the greatest American alive, when I see amazing things coming for the American person, I can only just look out there and see and say, it's about to happen. Wonderful things are about to happen. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. American citizens are about to work together and there's going to be a convergence of technology and information and human capital. It's about to be the greatest renaissance the world has ever seen. You better get ready for all this power. The greatest American alive. You, the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.